Okay, hello everyone. Welcome back. If you're new here, welcome. Miss Melanie, if you're new here, welcome to the Chanel. Um, so as you can tell by the title, today we're going to be talking about eczema. Yay! So, of course, I'm going to start off with a backstory because I always start off with a backstory. And then I'll kind of tell you guys tips and stuff that I did for college um, and just that I implement now in my lifestyle um, to help out anyone who has any sensitivity to skin or um, skin condition. I feel for you tremendously. I was born with eczema um, I've lived most of my life with eczema I've only had a very very short period of time I want to say about a year year and a half where I had no signs of eczema and that was a time where I was doing specific things really strictly and that's why I didn't have the eczema um, I so I had it when I literally was born and my doctor gave me medication immediately for the eczema. So I was pretty much on steroid cream for, I want to say like, maybe like 16, 17 years of my life, um, which is a really long time to be on steroid cream and there were so many side effects to that cream including my skin used to thin out extremely which used to make it even more prone to getting even more eczema um when i would scratch um my the parts of uh where i used to get eczema i used to get them on my hands and on my feet um, and then later on, I got it basically all over my body. Um, it was just not a good feeling to have. It was really annoying to have to constantly put on eczema cream every fucking day. Like, it was just, it was not a good look. Um, and eventually, I was like, something has to give, something needs to happen, because I can't keep putting on this cream. Literally, you get addicted to it because it's like the only thing that's working. A really big thing with eczema cream is that it bleaches your skin. So my hands and my toes and stuff used to be, and like my feet, um, and any area where I would put the eczema cream, it used to be lighter than the rest of my skin because it has bleach in it and then on top of all of that um, your your skin gets used to the eczema cream they up the dosage so then you have to put even more eczema cream or you have to get a higher dosage which makes um, which affects your skin even more I at one point I was taking this um, eczema cream where um, well, it was more like an ointment, but basically I could only put it like once or twice a week because it was so, um, uh, strong on the skin. So, yeah, it was insane. I even had like a lotion at one point. I went to a dermatologist. They kind of gave me more medication, um, and they kind of explained to me that, uh, with different creams, they would have to be different types of. Your skin is um, thicker on your hands than they are, like, say, somewhere like on your thigh or something. It was something along those lines. Anyways, I decided pretty much my senior year of high school that I was gonna stop using the cream. I was just over it and I was like, I need another resolution to this because they're saying it, they're saying it. And in college, uh, it was even harder to um, control the eczema because I was eating poorly, I was going out all the time, I continuously forgot to put the cream on and the ointments, and um, yeah, it was just a different lifestyle, so my eczema was terrible, and on top of that, 
the area that I was in, it was a bit colder than where I was previously. So, and the, the air was a bit more humid. So my eczema was really flaring up. Um, it was just not not a good time guys. And I started googling stuff I started looking at YouTube videos watching people talk about their eczema and I was just like okay so I need to figure something out because I'm not putting the ointment my eczema is getting worse what am I gonna do and these are just tips that I've used I know some people are gonna be like how the hell you do that um girl <laughs> you do what you gotta do so the first thing for college especially is to not take hot showers. Don't do it. I know it's winter. I know you dying of the cold. You can take lukewarm showers, but don't take hot showers. I don't know the signs to this all. I just know that hot showers. Second thing is know what is causing your flare ups. So this is tricky um because there's two sides to this and uh each situation is different and i'm not an expert in any way this was just my experience and what has helped me but um the first thing is anything where like there was a climate change i knew that my eczema was gonna flare up when it was allergy season, I knew it was gonna flare up. That was just from experience all my all my life that um, this was gonna be what was gonna happen with my eczema. So I would anticipate that and just make sure that I was wearing light clothing and that I wasn't exposing my skin too much outside, which is, it can be a little bit hard if you're like walking to classes and stuff. Or continuously, um, figuring out what is causing your eczema. I had found through uh, someone on YouTube, I don't remember her name, but she has said that dairy and gluten had caused her eczema. And that was very interesting to me and I was like, oh, so food could cause eczema. And what I realized was, was that food was causing my eczema. So, I am allergic to gluten and in some cases dairy, but it's more the gluten than the dairy. So, I kind of cut out dairy more just for skin purposes, not because of my eczema. Gluten is more the bad guy. So, when I cut out gluten, I cut it out for about a year. Um, and that's when I had no outbreaks, no flare-ups, like I swear to everything, like it was insane. And this was prior to having an extreme flare-up of eczema um, that was caused by stress. I was stressed out about school and I had just gotten out and I was just beyond the words of stress. Found out that gluten was the cause for that. The issue is that a lot of things do have gluten and um, what I do now is that uh, I kind of micromanage how much gluten I eat because I notice that if I eat a certain amount of gluten, I'm okay. Like, I'm not completely allergic to it. It's just like the tolerance. Let's say don't always believe your doctors. I don't think you should believe anybody and especially when you're the one that's living with the disease like you know what your disease does to your body on a daily so you should know more than anybody what um is causing or what could be causing your eczema beets or light um bed sheets this is again if your flare-ups are due to like change in weather or change in like how much heat you have in the room and stuff because for me at least I used to get a lot of flare-ups when I had a bunch of like comforters and stuff on top of me um this was just because again it was my body was getting hot and it was like oh what's going on and the last thing is to try to cut out stress as much as possible I know that in college is super duper hard to do that because it can be stressful especially during finals week i always used to get flare-ups during finals week um but if you can avoid it 
please try to that will be like the best suggestion for just not getting your eczema flare-ups um and for the food i would say that you would have to just experiment this little experiment of mine i want to say about a month and a half to two months to really know because you also have to, you also have to think that um your body has to process out all the gluten that you ate beforehand before you can kind of figure out if it was actually the gluten or it was actually a dairy or some type of greens or vegetables i've seen that for some people it's certain types of greens that flare up their eczema it's usually caused by some food allergy um so yeah i just wanted to put that out there because i know that <laughs> that is such a struggle in college especially when you're in a different state and the water is like so harsh or they have so much minerals in it and you're just like why god why um if you can also i was thinking about in college getting a specific um, shower head that removes all the minerals all like the harsh minerals from the water uh, I've heard that that really helps too I can link it down below for anybody that wants it um, I've heard that that helps tremendously eczema sometimes it's downrated too because it's not really like a life-threatening disease but it's definitely one where it can really cause a lot of self-esteem issues especially if your skin is like consistently peeling or it's consistently flaring um but yeah just be patient with yourself don't think about it too hard um yeah thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one bye